How's it going YouTube? Got fourth star TCG here and today we are continuing with my PSA 10 Japanese uh, complete EX set. And today after a little bit of a uh, little bit of a mix up, I did PCG 2 Clash of the Blue Sky before uh, PCG 1 Flight of Legends. Uh, so the video for PCG 2 is already up and today we are going to be backtracking a little bit and taking a look at PCG-1. Uh, so Flight of Legends is the Japanese equivalent of EX Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, so this is quite the set and I am really excited to uh, show it all off to you guys. So without any further ado, let's get into the first card, Clefable EX. Again, you've got that uh, sort of 3D Mitsuhiro Rita artwork. Uh, this, not really one of my favorite EX cards, um, but again, just, uh, so the focus of this, of course, was the original 151 Kanto Pokemon, uh, the set came out with the release of Fire Red and Leaf Green, of course, um, so what I do like about this card is just the background, uh, it's sort of very clean and clear, it allows that hollow to pop really well, this is something that was, uh, really well done on these EX cards, so, there's Clefable. Next up, here's a really nice one. Gyarados EX. More Hikaru Koike artwork. Uh, I think this is just like, you've got the 3D artwork of Mitsuhiro Rita there. You've got the sort of more menacing, darkened artwork of uh, Hikaru Koike. Again, very, very nice. Uh, the dark background on this card, I think it works really well with Gyarados, uh, especially like when when Clefable, you know, that's not a super amazing Pokemon. You really want the hollow to pop. Gyarados, I like that it's not super overwhelming. Um, it really focuses your attention on Gyarados. That's very nice. All right, next card up. Mr. Mime EX. There are two Mr. Mime EXs in this set. Uh, this was this was kind of an interesting uh, interesting collection mishap for me. So I, as you can see, as you can tell from the PSA case, um, I graded this card quite a while ago, probably back in 2016, 17, or something. Um, and it took me quite a long time to get the second Mr. Mime, again, as you can tell by the PSA case style and the uh, certification number there much later. I think I graded this uh, towards the end of last summer when I finished up my uh, Japanese EX collection. And because there's two Mr. Mime EXs, it's when you've got, I think the full Japanese set is 97 cards. Um, it's kind of difficult to keep track of. Um, so I don't know how many times I bought this card ungraded, even though I already had it in a 10, thinking it was this card which I needed uh, in a 10. So it took me several rounds of grading. I thought, okay, uh, I, I always thought I had the wrong mime in a 10, uh, but eventually I got both of them. Uh, it's been several times that I've, that I've graded this card in a 10, uh, but eventually I was able to grab both of them in a 10. Uh, one is magic evens, the other magic odds, the abilities, uh, they prevent damage if it's uh, multiple of, if it's an even or an odd number, so that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so those are the two Mr. Mimes. Again, not really, these are some of the least expensive EX cards, uh, especially having two Mr. Mimes. I think that's a little interesting. Um, quite the decision to make there. I would really not be happy if when I opened up a EX Fire Red Leaf Green booster box, I pulled two Mr. Mimes and like a Clefable or something. But next up, Electrode EX. Again, really cool artwork there. This one by Ryo Ueda. Um, got that beautiful lightning bolt artwork. Uh, very cool, very nice. Not one of the more popular uh, EX cards again, but still a very cool artwork style there. All right, so now we got some of the heavy hitters from Flight of Legends. Gengar EX. Quite the card. 
quite the artwork, quite the style, just beautiful. Uh, this is one of my favorite of the sort of 3D artwork meets a hero Rita cards. Um, this was one of the first cards that I was able to grade in a PSA 10. Really happy that I was able to get it out of the way to start with. Um, that's sort of been the goal for whenever I do collection, uh, collection goals is to buy the big cards first, uh, grade the big cards first. So I was really happy I did this, um, as you know, Gengar EX, such a fan favorite, really hard to find these days. Uh, usually I'll find, you know, a copy here and there of, um, of these cards. I found multiple mimes. I found multiple electrodes. I even found multiples of the cards coming up, but never have I found a multiple of Gengar. Um, so really, really happy. Just look at that beautiful hollow pattern there. So nice. So amazing. Wow. All right. One last look at Gengar. <laughs> Uh, before, we, oops, before we get on to the last three cards. Uh, so what's interesting about Flight of Legends is that the starter EX card, so Venusaur, Charizard, uh, and Blastoise, they were not included in the set. Uh, actually, they came in constructed starter decks, uh, which were sold alongside the set. Um, so actually, you cannot open a uh, one of the starter EXs from the Flight of Legends booster packs, and that's why they're not included in my collection. Um, for anyone, you know, wondering why I'm talking about Flight of Legends and Fire Red Leaf Green and not showing you a PSA 10 Charizard EX, that's why. Um, those cards were not included in the set, so therefore they are not included in my set-based collection goals. Next up, got a Moltres EX. So this, these are some of the most beautiful EX cards. Uh, so in English, they have the shard hollow pattern. In Japanese, they have this beautiful star foil pattern, uh, and it's just super nice. So they also have uh, a sort of unique foil pattern, but you just look at the stars there throughout Moltres, the rainbow stars, just beautiful. Um, so this card, I actually, it originally graded a PSA 9, and I sent it in for review through PSA's review service, and it was upgraded to a PSA 10. So I was really happy about that, um, as these these secret rare birds, well, technically they're not secret rares in, uh, in Japanese, but they are very, very hard to find. Um, yeah, so if... I, I think these are some of the most underpriced uh, Japanese EXs right now, just because of how hard they are to find, uh, how difficult it was for me to acquire these. I did grade them all myself, um, but yeah. Next up, Articuno EX. I think this is just so beautiful. I think this uh, the hollow pattern works the best with Articuno, just because of the you got the snowflakes and the ice there, and this just the hollow pattern works so well. Um, it is amazing. Very, very nice. Show it on the bottom there. And again, just these are these cards are so amazing, especially the the three of them together. Um, I think it's one of the best uh, best parts of the EX series is when they do these trios, which work really well. Uh, like the Reggies and Undone Seal, and these Flight of Legends birds. So last but certainly not least, we have the Zapdos. Again, with that beautiful hollow pattern, it doesn't pop as well on the Zapdos just because it is yellow. Um, but again, really, really nice. Uh, this The continuity in these cards is so beautiful. Um, and just having them all in my collection is fantastic. So that is it for Flight of Legends. Uh, my favorite EX cards have to be, I, I think it would be very difficult to pick uh, between these three. Um, if I had to, I think my favorite is the Articuno EX just because the uh, just because of the beauty of that hollow pattern, how it pops, how it works with the ice uh, ice type of Articuno, and the uh, card artwork as well. So there we go. That will do it for PCG One Flight of Legends. Thank you very much for watching. 
Be sure to like and subscribe and stick around for more videos. And next up, we are going to be looking at uh, PCG3. I'm going to do some double checking on the set just to make sure I don't go out of order again. So thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Stick around for more videos.